So it's uh, swarming season and I happened to leave a flower pot here which had had a, a colony once before and I was intending to clean it out and use it as a flower pot uh, but the bees got to it first. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in fact there are two here, both with a swarm in, each with a swarm in I should say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a hive nearby and uh, dump them in front of the hive and hopefully they'll take to the hive rather than the rather than the flower pots. Okay, I have the two hives set up and I'll go and get the pots and shake the bees from the pots in front of the hive. So as you can see, I think there's quite a lot of bees inside here. So I'm literally going to shake them on top of there, or in front of there, and they should run up into the hive. And many which are left in the pot should follow. By leaving the pot in front of the hive, I'm hoping that uh, they'll all be drawn to the hive. They'll end up, they seem to be going in pretty well. give the pot another bit of a shake. Yeah, I think a bit of smoke is called for. Okay, now I've got my smoker and uh, I wouldn't normally use the smoker when collecting a swarm but since the Bees is paying rather too much attention to the pot. I'm going to puff some smoke in here. And what the smoke does is it masks the pheromones which they're producing. So if I puff smoke into here, it masks the pheromones over here, and the bees near the, the uh, hive which are producing pheromones, oh, they get to. Uh, they get their pheromones noticed. Which should mean that all the bees will go over to the hive. Now by the looks of it, this has only just arrived probably today, maybe yesterday. And so they're not too firmly fixed on the pot. Probably do the same for this pot over here. There's quite a lot of bees in both pots, they must be a little confused. So I've dumped the bees out of the pot yet again and I think now you'll get the idea 
of what I'm trying to achieve. I'm certainly not paying too much attention to the pot now that I've dumped those out and I'm smoking the pot. And as you can see, they're all moving up into the hive. It doesn't matter how many times I do this, I just love to see them going up a ramp into a hive. It's, it's just fascinating. It never ceases to amaze me how, how they'll do this. There's almost no bees at all in the pot now. So they look really determined to go into this hive now. They're uh, all running up. There's some bees over that on that side. You can see with their tails in the air, fanning their fanning their wings to drive the pheromone up into uh, the air to pull the rest of the bees in. And they definitely seem to get the idea now. There are still a few bees flying around in the corner where the box were situated before I moved them to the hives and these bees will take a little while to get uh, get acclimatized get oriented to their new place but they'll fly around and they'll find the rest of, the, of their colony quite quickly I think there's still uh, there's still a few outside but very quickly I think the rest of them are going to be inside they'll be house cleaning collecting nectar and pollen and setting up house. You can see the, uh, the workers here, butts in the air, fanning the uh, pheromone up into the air. So I think we're, we can regard this as a success. <laughs>